Hello from the world headquarters for the Hanging with Herky Empire. Oh, oh. Herky he, wants on his dad's lap, but Ed has I, the... I have an iPad you sitting on have the iPad. It. Dad has the iPad. He only it. sits here for just a minute yeah. anyway. All right, let's just get down. Let's just get it over with, put him yeah. down. All right, there you go. Boing. Okay, he's done. Oh, did you hide the broccoli? Oh. Hopefully he won't no. find... So he's got this... It's in the other room. He's got this I think broccoli okay. with a squeaker toy in it. And so I think they all know that. Yeah, but. yeah, you guys know that. Oh, From man. hearing it. Wow. Overwhelming response yeah, to our video. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Yeah. And lots of comments about, um, well, somebody did their type, top, can't speak, top five, uh, yeah, let me, what they learned let from me just jump into it. I love that. It. Thank you. It says, uh, Trish said, hey, we're looking forward to your series. Just got home from our first camping trip. This is our fourth camping season in our runaway. We are former tent campers, and the thing we love the most about camping in the runaway is allows us to enjoy the things we loved about tent camping, being outside, cooking, mm -hmm. etc., without the things we didn't love, sleeping on the ground and sleeping in a hot tent, and having to unpack and pack everything for every trip. That could be like another, these five oh, things, yeah, these five why things. I hate tent so, camping. She kind of took a little twist here and says, uh, we have a list of the top things we learned from Ed and Nancy, or the herkies as we call them. <laughs> Number five, runaway maintenance and upkeep. So uh, my videos, uh, our videos on uh, keeping your camper up, up to snuff have been uh, helpful to them. Uh, attaching an old license plate to the back of your camper license plate for reinforcement. That's in an old video. So let's And we learned up. that the hard way. Yeah, we lost like three license plates. Now I know the trick about moving it and everything like that, but now we have it reinforced. We're, we're good. We're, we're good. Um, using shower curtain hooks for extra hanging space in the that? shower. That's number three. Oh, number three, okay. Yeah, so that is Nancy's idea. Um, she came up with that for hanging the... There's uh, never enough hooks. Never enough hooks, so we, in our shower bag, we carry hooks extra uh, hooks. and hang on the back of the door. Uh, number two, propane fire ring to uh, warm up the easy up. Yep, we really like that because uh, we don't like messing with the wood. Uh, occasionally we build a wood fire, but yeah, for the but most part. Yeah, but when you're done, do you turn it off. When you're cold, you turn it on. Hands down, number one, puppy pads. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that what a game changer that was in the shower house. And our bonus item was, Indiana is uh, has a lot of cool towns and state parks. Thank you for taking the time to make these videos. We've learned so much that it has improved our camping experience. Well, Trish, you're Thank welcome. Thank you. Thank you, though. That is just so kind. The puppy pad thing is uh, Nancy's deal, too. Yeah. Um, we, we think it's funny now. Um, when we go to these runaway rallies, uh, she says in the women's restroom, she looks in there and there's... When I throw my puppy pad away, there's all kinds of puppy pads in the <laughs> so, trash can. So apparently she's inspired all the other women to use puppy pads. So you don't... Yeah. In case you don't know what we're talking about, after your shower, you can... If you put a puppy pad down... Put a puppy pad down the plastic side to the floor, of course. And then you can take your flip-flops off or whatever you wear in the shower and stand on the white part. Um, it's easier to dry off and get dressed. You're not balancing on one foot on a flip-flop. And yeah, your clothes, if they touch the floor, it's your puppy pad. So it's just wonderful. I usually get them at Dollar General or Goodwill because a lot of times people get them for the dog or whatever, don't like them, they take them to Goodwill, so. So they're like endless supply, pretty much at Goodwill or Dollar yeah. General, so. Hey, um, we always hear from uh, Derek, he goes by Papa D on the, um, uh, on, on YouTube, but Derek has been with us from the very beginning. Um, yeah, I think he was the first one that subscribed other than family. Outside <laughs> of our family, so. <laughs> Hi Derek, thanks for hanging in with us all these years. And um, he he commented, he said at the end of the video, um, he commented on the old red Ranger pickup truck. So. Oh! <laughs> so, that uh, camper has been pulled by many a vehicle. So we've had like about four vehicles we've well, pulled. Well, the HHR, the truck, my car, and now the van. Yeah, so uh, we've gone through several renditions before we finally landed on something. Hey, that Ranger was really good. A little underpowered, but it was great for a locally. A lot underpowered. Yeah. But it was it was great for locally 
uh, around here. So yeah, that, but we took it to the Smokies. We've oh, taken it to Florida. Florida. Yeah, it had a manual transmission in it. Um, so Out Route 66. We we taken that thing everywhere. I think it had 300,000 miles on it when I put it up on Facebook Marketplace, and a guy came to the house and he said. Um, he had his little boy, and I told him, I said, hey, if you're buying this to drive back and forth to work, I don't want to sell it to you. He said, oh, no. He said, I'm buying it for, for me and my son to go camping in and fishing. He got in it, and he was out on a ride, and I told Nancy, I said, no matter what the price is he offers me for this vehicle, I'm going to take it because I want him to have this, this thing because he was excited about it, and his little boy was excited about it. So... Uh, he did come in under my asking price, and I just let it, I just let it go. <laughs> I was. Uh, I do think you you cried a few tears I had, when it. I left. love that Ranger. So anyway, thanks, Derek, for uh, noticing the pictures. Oh, there at the and end. and uh, JB said that Dave Ramsey would be proud of us because <laughs> we're not paying payments on he our He thought on the, an RV. the suffocation, uh, small camper suffocation, was my response was hilarious. So. When somebody else asked, I wonder how many times that, that man has actually slept, slept in, in a, a coffin. coffin. <laughs> that said uh, it was like sleeping in a coffin. Um, somebody said, there's a small element of the runaway feeling that feels a little bit like a fort or a tree house to me. It fits in my garage. It's easy mm -hmm. to tow, easy to park, and affordable. Enough said. I love it's our this, spare bedroom, too. I love this series. Uh, wish there were 10 things. We just kept it to five for the... Um, for the sake of time, but man, we could have gone, gone 10 on and things, on and on, sure. especially, yeah. Uh, hey, thanks for the Father's Day uh, gifts, uh, Nick. I appreciate uh, the Father's Day wishes, Nick. I appreciate that. Uh, well. And Monday was our 41st wedding anniversary. So we went down to my favorite place, Brown County, had dinner, and uh, just looked around the park and just had fun, right? Yep. Hey, Joe had built a has has built a teardrop, and he's can't, he's going to be traveling from Oregon to Michigan uh, with his beagle. With our five things, he was a little bit concerned that he's made a mistake. Joe, hang in there. You'll, yeah, you, you'll be okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. If I could do what I did, you can handle that. Yeah. If you, you built won't be that in bad thing, weather. It's a labor of love. Yes. You're, you're tough. You yeah. Hang you'll, in there. You'll be fine. Ho hopefully, we didn't cast any doubt in your minds. Uh, Hey, we've been doing it seven years. It is doable. Yeah, to me, uh, 50, uh, 54 Bonkers says, to me, the point of camping is to be outside. It's yeah. nice to have something with solid sides to feel safe and sleep at night. Lucky my tiny camper is 66 inches tall and is a five by eight, so I can stand up a little at least. Hmm. So, hey, um, coming up, we'll talk about this in a minute, but coming up, uh, here next week we're going to have some positive reasons why you should own a or a runaway camper. So you guys are, or a tiny camper. Tiny camper, mm -hmm. yeah. Not, this isn't specific to runaways. No. It's just no. mainly tiny camper. We do not sell the runaway camper. We just own one. Indy Rick hikes says um, you hit it on the head, guys. Sometimes there are negatives and sometimes there are positives. I like living. In my Range Runner on the rim of the Grand Canyon in the late fall and winter. Oh, but it's backpacking in the canyon. So there's a guy uh, that has figured it out and yeah. is having a good time. So last uh, but not least here, there's there's over a hundred comments, so I can't read them all. But uh, our friends Chuck and Pat, now uh, they um, they've actually been to our house before, and they were one of our early on subscribers to our channel, and. Um, Chuck and Pat have lived in various different RVs and have traveled across the country, did work camping. So they're a wealth of knowledge when it comes to sometimes when we're traveling places, sometimes I can hit Chuck up and uh, ask him for some Well, and he said, Pat did say when we said the five things, mm -hmm. why not to buy a, run, a, a small camper? When we said number one, she said it before we did. Yeah. You can't stand up. You can't up. stand up. Yeah. Uh, so, but anyway, he talks about um, good gas mileage, things yeah. like that. We're gonna be talking about that next week. So anyway, yeah. that's just a sample of, of, like I said, there was a hundred- Of y'all reaching out to us, thank you. There was there was a hundred comments, so yeah. I can't read them all, but- It was fun. Uh, appreciate everybody. I read them all, 
and I and read them to me. So you've read yes, them kind of and, twice. And I responded. I think I have responded to all of them. I I made it. If he to didn't, do. let us know, and he will. <laughs> I'll, I'll respond to you. Uh, oh, by the way, there's a hanging with Herky at gmail dot mm -hmm. You can always send me a note if you got an idea. And he has or, Facebook too. Yeah, so you can send up those. Those emails, and I do my best to uh, reply to them. Sometimes message, it takes me a few days. We got a but, message from somebody in Australia this mm, week too. Yeah, I haven't. I don't think I've responded. No, to that you yet, need so. to. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was a busy day. It was our anniversary, so um, we were busy yesterday. We did some stuff, but anyway, uh, sounds like everybody's liking this series. Next week is five reasons why you should buy a tiny mm -hmm, camper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're not going to give those away, but we put a lot of thought into this. We uh, had about a six we hour We had a drive, lot of wind chill time. And so we talked about this for like six hours planning this series. So uh, stay tuned. I think you're going to really like it. So, yeah. All so right. today is uh, the day before. So you're watching this the day you're, we're recording this the day before you're seeing it. So today, right. Yes. Today's, today's Tuesday because You'll, you'll find this out later on, but um, we were not able to make the, the Midwest RCO rally in Terre Haute. Uh, a couple well, things it started started Sunday night, and then it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we had some things going on, and we actually, if you think about it, we've spent a year and a half on the road, and this year we needed to kind of um, stay anchored to the home base here for a little bit to get a few things done. But I said all that to say, We've got the van all loaded up. We don't have the camper, but it's only an hour and a half away. So we are gonna, somebody just texted me. <laughs> so we're gonna jump in the van and we're gonna run down to Terre Haute and see all our friends at um, But nobody knows we're coming Park. except for uh, Charles Charles and Susie Moment Moment. knows that we're coming. Yeah. We, we actually made this decision late in the day yesterday, so. But we swore um, him to secrecy. So we wanna get this recorded really quick and we're running down there. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for all the comments. Yes, that was so encouraging. We enjoyed it. We really feed off of everybody uh, giving us encouragement. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Send us an email and uh, look you know, at Herky sure on comment. Facebook. I tell you what, asleep. I'm excited about this video on Sunday because the last video is in two days hit like 1,400 views. So uh, that's pretty cool. All righty. We'll see you guys, and we'll see all you guys uh, that are at the Midwest Rally here in about two hours. So, <laughs> All right, bye now. Bye we'll now. see you on Sunday.